Hey guys, this is Kimon Beckles coming to you from the Stroke and Brain Aneurysm Center of Long Island. We wanted to touch base today about a topic that uh, recently came up in the news and it has to do with 3D printing neural tissue, brain, uh, brain tissue. And so, uh, of course, it sounds very exciting, but uh, what really happened was that researchers from Stanford University used 3D technology, 3D printing technology to print an organoid that is meant to replicate a disease state, uh, what we call Charcot-Marie Tooth Disease. And that disease uh, is a disease that is neurodegenerative, meaning the brain degenerates or, or starts losing function. Uh, and uh, of course, it's a model, right? So it doesn't really have all the intricacies and the connections of the brain. Uh, and of course, a lot of people in the past have tried to create neural tissue in the lab using stem cells and using 3D printing. However, none of these efforts has been successful enough to be considered clinically useful. Of course, you might have heard of other organs being 3D printed, like, printed like the heart or other kidneys maybe, uh, but those are relatively easier to 3D print and maybe even possibly have some clinical application from them. When it comes to the brain, there is an enormous amount of connections uh, between neurons uh, and, and every connection is meaningful to that particular brain, right? Because that's how our memories are created, that's how our functions are created. All these connections um, are constantly evolving in a process called plasticity throughout a person's life uh, from the time they're born all the way to the time they die. There's constant change in those connections. So it's really, really challenging to be able to somehow replicate the complex functions of the brain. And so I wanna caution everybody not to be overly excited about those, those prospects. Of course, these are great developments and great advances in an effort to understand more what's going on in the brain, particularly when the brain is diseased. And maybe it'll help us also understand and, and uh, test therapeutics when it comes to diseases such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, or other neurodegenerative diseases. But we're still extremely far away uh, from being able to recreate the miracle of a brain uh, to recreate it in the lab. Um, again, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in another video of the Stroke of Brain Aneurysm Center of Long Island.